All right, guys, Joe McDonough, Joe McDonough here with MMAProspects.com. I'm here with 5-1 and one, AJ Cunningham, who fights on September 24th. AJ, how are you, my friend? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm real good. What about you? I'm doing good, man. I want to thank you for taking the time out. I mean, so Icon Fighting Federation, card number one, the debut uh, for mixed martial arts on UFC Fight Pass. I mean, it's pretty cool to, to fight on a debut card. I mean, 15, 20 years from now, who knows where this promotion is? And you can say you fought on that first card. Absolutely. I've done that with a couple promotions and uh, just never for a guy like Dean Tool. So it's, it's pretty exciting for sure. And, and, you know, to add in the fact that it is on UFC Fight Pass, I mean, you're a prospect. You're trying to get noticed. A lot of people have noticed you. A lot of eyes will be watching. Oh, shit. Like, I, I know I, me and my coaches have been talking about this. This is uh, by far, without a doubt, my biggest opportunity, my biggest fight to date. So I'm super excited for the 24th. And I honestly don't think I've ever trained harder or looked better, if we're being honest. Yeah, absolutely. And and does does it come with extra, you know, nerves? Do you feel like that night you're going to have a little nerves or are you excited? I'd be lying if I said there wasn't nerves. I, I'm I'm nervous. I've been fighting 15 amateur fights, six professional, so 21 fights. Uh, I'm nervous each and every time, whether it's a prospect or a guy that I know I'm supposed to be. It's just how it is. It's just how I roll. Uh, I'm a nervous guy, so it comes with some nerves for sure. Just to mm -hmm. think that it's there's a whole bunch of eyes on this. So, and, and and you know, like you just said, you've had 21 fights now, 15 amateur. A lot of prospects we're seeing coming up today have two or three amateur fights, and and they're right to pro. How much has it helped you as as a 15 fight amateur vet? A hundred percent. I've said, I said some some shit about the nerves, right? Like uh, uh, how nervous I am for every fight. But yep. I believe if I didn't have those 15 fights, it would be tremendously worse, obviously. Um, the nerves start when I start walking out and when the ref says you're ready. After that, they kind of go away. And I think it's all because of that experience that, hey, you've been, you've seen it. You've seen pretty much, you've seen all of it. So, uh, I, I, I mean, absolutely, the 15 fights help. I think those guys that you know, have two or three amateur fights. The reason some of them do that is because they have a wrestling background or a boxing background, which is all right. Uh, I didn't have any of that. So I had to get that fight experience in for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, speaking off of that, tell the fans what your, you know, your greatest attribute is. Oh man. Uh, as far as like style wise, like whether I'm a grappler or striker, what, what just, just, you know, grappling, striking, wrestling, what, what would you say you're most comfortable in a fight? Um, to be honest, I feel very well rounded here lately. It's been striking. Uh, I think mm -hmm. I switch stances really well and I'm able to win that, uh, lead foot battle exchange. Like who's got their lead foot on the outside. I think I, I play that game really well. Uh, I'm dangerous cause you don't know what I'm going to throw and when I'm going to throw it. I feel like, I think that's my best, best, uh, attribute. My best characteristic is my willingness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, you know, five wins by finish, only one loss, that one loss coming to solo Hatley Jr. Who, you know, spotted Bellator a couple of times. Um, I mean, just, it speaks to your well-roundedness. You've had some submission wins, you've had some, you know, KOs, you know, it, it, it all by finish. I mean, does this, is this another finish we're about to see? Uh, yes. I, I don't, I, I know it sounds real cliche, but I don't go out there for uh, a decision. I don't go out there to play around. I want to finish or, uh, get finished in the sense uh, I I don't like I don't like uh, going out there and spending 15 minutes. The decision I had with uh, Mr. Hatley was nerve wracking the whole time. It was frustrating, and I look back at it and I just thought, man, I could have done more. So I hated that feeling, and I'm gonna try my hardest never to have that feeling again. 15 minutes ain't for me. Uh, yeah. I'm more of a five, six, seven minute kind of guy. So that's <laughs> that, that's my time. Hey, you get the paycheck either way, whether you're in there for one minute or 15, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I mean, speaking on that solo, how he just fought uh, Aaron Pico at Bellator. Um, you know, what was the biggest learning point from that loss, your first loss of your professional career? Uh, move your fucking head and move your feet and <laughs> don't be stationary. So my whole, like I've said, uh, I used to, if you would have asked my best attribute, Six months ago, eight months ago, I would have been said grappling, you know, pressure, pressure, take down, sub them. Uh, 
But once again, not trying to sound cliche, losses help you learn so much more than a win ever will. And and it's the truth. Every time I've ever lost, I've gone back, watched film, and worked on how that guy beat me. And he just moved a little bit better and threw a lot more volume than I did. You know, just because Justin Gates, you can stand flat-footed and throw 90 leg kicks, eat 150 mm. headshots, does not mean that formula works for other fighters. You got to find what formula lo- works best for your speed, your body body type, and uh, your 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 cardio. And standing there flat-footed and trading tip for tat wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. So. And so you, you've already kind of spoken uh, about how, how crazy this training camp's been, how it's been uh, amped up. Um, I mean, speak on your gym. Speak on your training partners, your coaches. Oh, man, I, I'm with the coaches that have brought me up five years ago. I've been training about five and a half years, and that's Matt Sellers and Josh Hudson. I cross-train with guys like Brian Foster, and his son's a killer. I train a, lot, a little bit with them. Uh, I train down in Memphis with Brian Hall. And uh, a lot of good talent down there, Reggie Adams. Um, I cr- kind of cross train everywhere. Uh, need to go to Little Rock a little more down in West Side. I, it's been a minute since I've been down there, but um, my home's without limits. But I train a little bit everywhere when it comes to Arkansas, uh, Tennessee area. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, in training everywhere, you see a little bit of everything. I mean, how much does that help your game? Absolutely. It goes back down to that, you know, 15 amateur fight. Uh, you, you, you become seasoned, you know, uh, you get complacent with the same training partner and you're like, well, I, I'm good with this guy. Well, you're going to be good with him when you know what he looks like when he exactly what he looks like when he throws a jab or what he looks like right before he's trying to pass guard. You start picking up on that one person's tendencies uh, versus training with 60 different people, you know, uh, so you become seasoned for sure. Absolutely. And so, you know, at 25, five and one professionally, you know, what did you see yourself here at 25 and, and what got you into the sport? What got you into MMA? I did not see myself here by no means. Uh, it just was one of those things that kind of happened. Uh, I wanted to originally be a D1 uh, running back, but uh, that didn't work out. My brother ended up actually going <laughs> to go play college football, and not me. So uh, I was there, just a ripped up dude. Uh, and no extra activity to do anymore at 20. So I walked into an MMA gym and I was like, I'll give this shit a try. And it's worked out so far. So that was going to be my next question is, you know, what was your sport that you were in love with as a kid? I'm assuming that's football. Were there any others? Oh man, look, uh, yeah, it was football. It wasn't anything else. Like my friends are all real good at basketball and baseball. They kind of played it all. I've always had the mindset a hundred percent in, right? No, nothing, no plan B, no plan C, because mm-hmm. those plans distract from plan A. I don't really have a backup plan other than MMA. You know, I'm invested in this. You know, two years from now, I want to be in the UFC, uh, just like back in high school. At sophomore, I didn't give a shit about anything else but making it to D1 college football. So uh, I'm 100% invested in this, just like I was 110% invested in football. Absolutely. And so, you know, going back to uh, Icon FF, you know, Jewel Scott, what, you know, what do you think he's bringing to the table on September 24th? I like Jewel. I like his fighting style. Uh, I feel like I'm obviously way more rounded. He brings powerful shots, uh, decent takedowns, but outside of that, I don't see much, which it doesn't matter because I'm going to sit there and we're going to trade. You watched my past two fights. Uh, I've tried a couple takedowns, but most of the time that's to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I'm looking forward to a good show with him. I think we're going to exchange a lot of shots and uh, throw some cool shit on. Awesome. I'm sure the fans will be looking forward to that. So, I mean, you know, being an Arkansas guy, being first round management, um, you know, there's a guy named Bryce Mitchell. You know, I, you know, are you, have you guys shared any stories? Have you, you know, are you friends with Bryce at all? <laughs> yeah, me and Bryce are friends. We, yeah. Actually, every time we train together, they get we get asked if we're brother. Yeah, me and Bryce, are, <laughs> I'd say we're pretty close. We we were closer when I was training a lot up at Westside, right? Uh, but no, he's actually my cousin. So, yeah. Oh, really? Awesome! Wow, it's awesome. Yeah. So but, I mean, what? Not only as a cousin yeah. and a training partner, but what? What is he? Uh, what? What is his words of wisdom for your fight coming up? 
Oh man, it, it was the same thing as my uh, my jujitsu coach. It's always been fight a smart fight. Don't go out there. Don't stand flat flat footed. And uh, that's that's what I finally changed in this camp. It's just not standing flat footed. Always moving, moving my head, switching stances. And uh, I think they're all going to be proud come September twenty fourth. Like I've never worked harder and uh, never been stronger, never looked better either. So I'm excited for it. Absolutely. And so, you know, how close do you, you know, a win at September 24th, you know, you go to six and one, how close do you do to joining your cousin Bryce Mitchell in that UFC roster? Man, I'd be lying if I said, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to after that. But the goal is, once again, uh, come back to that season word, um, my goal is to seven or eight more after this win, honestly. So uh, mm -hmm. we've seen, again, Arkansas has had five or six fighters into the UFC in the past two to three years. And only a few, uh, two, I think, are still in. And here's why. I feel like uh, a lot of people rush it. A lot of people rush that. They, they hear the word UFC or, they, you know, a promotion. And they would be good at that but it's just not the right time in their career. And that, mm -hmm. that's what I want to make sure. I don't want to just make it in. I want to make it and make a nice like light Bryce. And I'm not built like Bryce. I can't go in there with eight wins and do as efficiently as Bryce. I'm going to need 12, 13, 14 wins and, you know, try my luck with that. Absolutely, man. And so my last question for you is just, you know, what's the prediction for the 24th? You already told me you want to be in there for a couple of minutes and get out, but you know, what's the prediction? Uh, my prediction is a first round TKO somewhere around the four minute mark. Uh, it will be set up with a head kick and then followed by some ground and pound. Awesome, man. We're all looking forward to it. Catch AJ Cunningham at Icon Fighting Federation 1, the debut on September 24th. AJ, thank you very much for the time, man. Thank you, man. Have a blessed day.